Buenas tardes. Aloha, oh, ahule y kaili ma, kohu manu o ohulu mele mele. Again, on behalf of the island of Oahu, aloha. We're so happy you're here and we're happy to be with you this beautiful afternoon here in very warm Las Vegas, Nevada. It's <laughs> baby. So here's the island of Oahu, I'm assuming. I'm going to ask this question, who hasn't been to Oahu? And you call yourselves travel agents. We'll fix that soon, right? Soon. Anyway, so here we have the North Shore at the very top of the island. Because it's in the north section, we call it the North Shore. A couple of properties there. Out to the left, Koolina, we have the, the Mouse and the Marriott, both in Koolina. Kahala Hotel down to the bottom right. And about 90 to 95% of the rest of your accommodations are in the Waikiki area. So again, know that we are an island. It's not the island of Waikiki. It's the island of Oahu with a little beach called Waikiki. Just a food for thought. How many of you are fluent in Hawaiian language? Oh, really? How many of you are fluent in English? We talked about this. Right, most of us are not. So, we're gonna do a short lesson. So for those of you who were with us the other day in Kekula, this is a refresher for you. The first word, as we mentioned before, has no W in it. O, ahu. O, ahu. Very good. The second one is the capital of the state, the capital of the island. And those are O's, ladies and gentlemen, not A's. Hana is on Maui. Honolulu, right? Honolulu is on Oahu. Can you say Honolulu? Honolulu. Not Honolulu. I told you before, if you tell me you're going to Honolulu, I have no idea where you're going. So please, please. Kalakawa, Kalakawa, where all the beachfront resorts are. Kamehameha, can you say Kamehameha? The avenue that will take you up to the north and take you all the way up to Hale Iva. Hale Iva. Yeah? And then on your way back down, you head through Koolina. Koolina. And maybe do a little shopping at Waikele. Can you pronounce the last one on your own, please? I'm not helping you with that one. You're flying solo on that one. All right. So, Miley Tom, what was the word for Kauai? What was the word that she beat into your brain? No, not discovering. Rejuvenating. Andy, come on, I love you. Really. So the word that we'd use for the island of Oahu, energizing. Yeah, if you're looking for that nightlife, you're looking for that shopping, you're looking for the adventure, the island of Oahu is the island for you. And as I do with every presentation, I have to point out this one right here. Can you see the picture? I'm not sure what those two are doing. Um, <laughs> I believe that's leading towards the honeymoon market and eventually the family market. So, just as a side, I didn't put that picture up there, so I just have to, for some reason, point it out every single presentation. The state of Hawaii has designated 25 heritage sites throughout the state. Nine are found on the island of Oahu. They are listed right there. Many of those, I'm assuming, many of you are very familiar with. I'm going to talk about the most familiar. December 7th, 1941, a day that will forever live in infamy, has gone through a $58 million renovation and has been affected by the sequestering. So the Navy hours have been cut, which means the ferries that head out to the Arizona Memorial now stop at 1 p.m. versus 3 p.m. That equates to approximately 1,200 visitors not being able to get out to the USS Arizona Memorial. So book in advance, be your client's hero the very bottom left of the slide, Re is that your left? Yes, your left. Recreation.gov, recreation.gov. At this site, you can reserve seats on the Arizona Memorial Ferry in advance. It's a $2 fee, it's a service charge, and it's a fee you may consider absorbing as an agent for your client, because what it helps you to do is it helps you to ensure that they have access to the USS Arizona Memorial. And if they don't, and if they're not able to get there, there are four other venues. We have the Bofin, the Oklahoma, the Pacific Aviation, and the USS Missouri, all five telling the story of Pearl Harbor and what happened in World War II. So it's not just the Arizona, however, that is the one most people are going to visit. But again, recreation.gov or Pearl Harbor, what is it, historicsites.org. So please take note of those two. How many of you are aware that Hawaii was once an independent, internationally recognized kingdom? Not all of you. Scary. Once upon a time, Hawaii was an independent kingdom, and some of our museums 
that our museums today were once the residences of our kings and queens of old Hawaii. So you have two examples here, the Iolani Palace and the Queen Emma Summer Palace, both found on the island of Oahu. And one side note, and I think we talked about this a little bit during Kikula, good to send your clients to these kinds of places in the beginning of their stay. And I think this is true for any destination, not just Hawaii. It gives them a better sense of the place, better sense of the culture of the people of that place. So just, a, just my personal opinion, you learn a lot by visiting these two very special, special places. Here are a few things. Um, at our trade show booth 515, we have, I have USB drives. If you want to come by and pick them up, we'll have more content. But this is some information here. I'm not going to get into all of that because you can read that. Go ahead, read that. Okay, sorry, that's just a lot of good information for you. Now Friday is apparently a very, very exciting day in Hawaii. For some reason, all of our events happen on Friday. Not sure why. First Friday, yeah, Aloha Friday, maybe that's why. So first Friday, how many of you have first Fridays in the cities you live in? Yes, yeah, so you're familiar. For the rest of you who are not downtown, shuts down, and it becomes one massive block party. So we have our first Friday in downtown Honolulu. Eat the Street is every last Friday of the month. The theme, uh, this month, or this, what is today? Oh, it was just this last Friday, was bacon. Oh, the most important food group of all. I missed it because I was here. Anyway, um, Eat the Street is a, is a, not a greasy spoon food truck kind of thing. It's a high-end gourmet food truck experience every last Friday of the month and then third Friday. So I'm still waiting for second and fifth Fridays. Not sure when they're going to fill that in. Kind of annoying. I can't say every Friday. How many of you like to shop? Really? I hate shopping. You know, we were in Washington, D.C. last week, and I opened my suitcase and I had no pants. I forgot my pants in Honolulu. So I had to go shopping, and it really was torture. You like my new pants? <laughs> you cannot see. I just, okay. So anyway, on the island of Oahu, we have value bargains all the way to boutique and couture, so you can still get 6,000 t-shirts for $4 at the international marketplace or any one of our outlets and boutiques throughout the island. So shopping galore on the island of Oahu. Here's a few, few examples of some new stores that have opened. Anyone heard of Vivian Westwood? It's my auntie. I don't know who she is either. But she opened a store at the Moana. A lot of new things happening at the Ala Moana Center, the world's largest open-air mall, is constantly having upgrades, renovations. They're tearing out Sears. Goodbye, Sears. And they're putting in 30 new stores over the next year and a half or so. So that'll really expand the offerings at the Ala Moana Center over time. Anyone like to eat as much as me? Yes, so dining in Hawaii, not just on the island of Oahu, but in all of our bar islands. Wonderful dining options. So within the Waikiki boundaries or at every resort, you have great dining options. But it's good to get out and explore and see what else there is to enjoy on the island. Here are a few examples. One that I'd like to highlight, go downtown. Check out a museum and have lunch. There's a lot going on in the downtown area in the middle of the day. Here's some restaurant updates, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that you need to know that. Sorry, anybody like botanical gardens? Yeah, they're kind of boring. No, I'm just, please, I, I, I just, I just. We talk a lot about nightlife, shopping, and dining, but please, again, don't forget that Oahu is the third largest island, and we do have gardens. We do have trees. It's not just a concrete jungle with traffic and freeways. It is a beautiful island. You head any direction outside of Honolulu about 30 minutes and you're running to a lush forest. Well, if you run off the road, you're running to the lush forest, but you'll drive through some. Yeah, so any direction, beautiful options. Anyone like surfing? Try and surfing. Hard to surf when you have a hairy chest and a wax board. We don't get along, so I don't bother. But why my ancestors decided to stand on a piece of wood in the water, I have no idea. But I'm glad they did, because today surfing is a multi-billion dollar industry. And here's a few examples. You can go surfing in Waikiki with some of the famous beach boys that person knew Duke Kahanamoku himself. We had a fam a few years ago. The agent was 72 years old, and she was hanging 10 with the best of them. So if she could have done it, any one of us can. So surfing in Hawaii, wonderful option to do. And as Miley mentioned earlier, festivals and events, that's a website there at the bottom that's for all statewide events. And if you're going to write anything down, please at least consider that. The hotels aren't going anywhere. The restaurants, they're not going anywhere. The attractions aren't going anywhere. So you can book throughout the year, but some of these festivals only happen once a year. We had a fam in May of last year, and it coincided with our Lay Day, May Day Festival, which technically is tomorrow. 
um, but it coincided at the very end of the week, the agents were asked, what did you like the most? And it wasn't the five-star hotels that we stayed at. It wasn't the amazing dining that they got to experience and the shopping and the scuba diving and snorkeling at Hanama Bay and visiting the Polynesian Culture Center. It was the Lay Festival. Something that we didn't expect, but tears rolling down their eyes from the experience they had at the Lay Festival. So again, if they're crying, imagine what your clients would do if you find, and you know your clients well enough, the kinds of festivals that you can arrange for them or, or that'll be going on while they're there. So gohawaii.com slash events. I want to thank you for your time. My contact information is there. And for anyone who's worried, where's Stacy? She's at home. So there's two of us. So Stacy Martin Alford still works with us at the Bureau. There's our information. And please, if you're savvy on the social media, come find us. Hashtag Visit Oahu. Mahalo for your time today. I'd like to now turn it over to Maui Nui and Chris Kai Okamali. Thank you. Mahalo, Penola. Please see if you have hands. How many get to Maui?